One of my fellow Wesley Guild is always, well not always, once said that to rest during the weekend you need to ensure that you sort of clean your house during the week. So my fridge has been needing some TLC for some time. So I've decided, you know what, I'm sort of sitting and watching TV. Let me just stand up and sort of try and walk off the cake I just ate. So yeah, here's me starting my weekend with a clean fridge. And plus it's month end, so why not have a clean fridge when a new set of groceries are coming through. Maybe we need more wine, but we're trying to cut down on the wine. But yeah, you can see actually we're trying to cut down, but we are not here for that. We're here for the fridge. I'm so happy. So yeah, finally this month I'm gonna top up on a very clean fridge. Life is good. Thank you. Night bud. Hey, good morning. It's a Saturday. It is so early. I actually woke up for a bathroom break, but my hair was itching. Wow, wash day long overdue. Um, so yeah, let's get this hair cleaned up. So I'm currently just using what's remaining in my bathroom cabinet so that I can start a new product range and just see how that goes because I've been using a whole mix of different things. So I'm actually washing my hair using the Organics um, shampoo and conditioner range. It's been sort of good, but I feel like it's a bit drying to my hair. So after I think washing my hair, winter, I rinsed it, it and so applied the Let's get this hair cleaned up. Conditioning treatment for, and then I let it rest for like 20 minutes and rinsed it out. So let's do some face. I've recently started using the Porsche M um, face products. I think I'm liking it or my face hasn't really had much problem so I just thought I should try it so I'll start with the toner and then apply some serum they say it's about pea-sized or is it almond I don't know you know what let's do this I'm actually liking it my face doesn't really feel dry um, also use the day cream of it as well they say it has SPF and I'm not very big on sunscreen so yeah let's do that face well moisturized it's moisturized as hair so i'm gonna i had i've had this like for quite some time because my hair is constantly braided um i feel like i don't use products optimally um so yeah i will first go in with this leave-in conditioner with argan oil i like the smell of it though so i feel like going to a natural hair master class because I, I need it to yeah watching YouTube kind of helps but at the same time if I need a master class or I just need to have someone I can go to to do my hair because yeah, I have the lady that's been braiding my hair she my stay here in Juba doesn't really know how to take care of natural hair because I mean she was in the first business of sit down let me braid your hair and then mix custom understand it her forte is braiding um so i don't expect her to um, well i kind of do but she deals a lot with um relaxed hair so part of me doesn't really expect her to know 
how to take care of natural hair. And this means it's not. So now that we've gone in, so I'm basically doing in a little see method. So we've started with the leave in condition. Jeez, I feel like a natural hair expert, really. Um, I still have like tiny bits. So I'm going in with this natural Palmer's natural fusion ceramide um, hair oil. I bought it like probably two, three months ago. I don't know. Actually, before getting married, because I remember I used the products on my hair, and the stylist was doing my hair for the wedding day. It's in my lap, on my thing. There's people are. A natural hair stylist but they don't really know how to take care of natural hair so every time you see me looking towards the other side i'm looking into the mirror just to sort of see if i'm doing it right well, also before i'm rinsing the conditioning protein pack i i detangled my hair with a detangler i don't know if it was clear but you would have seen when of washing my hair I detangled a bit with my hands helps take away like thicker ones oh, but my, my scalp feels so so cool with my scalp so guys I don't know what's the problem so you don't know Yes, I feel kind of mentioned that um, I'm not consistent with the product range. Um, I'll go in now that I've let the oil into the hair with the Ahura with um, butter. It smells very natural. I do feel like it's probably like I said, I actually <laughs> such a terrible person. It's just that, like, I try and buy different products i will have bought different products over the past year and i sort of use what i feel works for my hair I haven't thoroughly um monitored but i feel like now that it's winter i need to move to a more cream based um shea yeah. butter and try a different um moisturizing protein treatment because i feel like this one didn't really do the job but alas I'll go in now with the native child um, castor oil. This is like this is like my yearly fighter. Like I've had this for a while. I've really tried other castor oils. I kind of feel like this one works. So whenever I take a break from braids, try and recoup my hairline with this one, and I feel like it works. Second, this side is the worst. The hair falling off. I don't know. And other thing is that before I'm I can walk, my hair stays open up in the center because I always do like two or four plaits. It's easy and right? I don't have to be struggling with my hair. I hate struggling with my hair. So as I was saying, um. I know the goal is to be cute, ultimately, but I don't know, man. I struggle tucking in the hair and I want it to remain tucked in. And yeah, at the same time, I don't want to be pulling my hair too much, so I'm going to tuck it in. This is sort of going to be my hairstyle for the day. Um, when I allow my hair to dry out and product to sort of stay in I've not applied makeup in such a long while um, I don't know I think I need some color so I thought let me add some eyeshadow wait for it I thought I should add some eyeshadow and some color earrings so let's go to start the weekend we are in route just by looking at this road, we're going to the northwest. Right here, 
just gonna contact that guy. Actually, I need to send that guy a message today and let him know over. He needs to bring us some chickens. I think he brings them on a Sunday or Monday. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that. And actually, look for his. I don't recall if I saved anything to that. No, I'll just search for Google or something. Yeah. Oh. Kids, other kids are looking for money for a cool drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's me saying no to God. Yeah. Hopefully, yes, I remember a good track. Oh, the area is clear. Yeah. Oh, but then I'm going to have a cool drink. I am back. Oh, but I don't see no one around. I'm just saying, like, I understand my business, and I don't know if it's understandable. It's just a little entrance, I know, sir. <laughs> hey guys, happy last day of the vlog. I'm sure the day has already been hectic. Um, I went to go get my wax long overdue. <laughs> Hello, <Hi, Lana. laughs> it's been long overdue. Um, I just it's a pity I didn't get a slot to get my jellish done. Would have loved to do that. I haven't done it such a long time but alas we've already done some sunday um, lunch prep shopping so now we're heading to more grocery shopping guys probably bought less than 30 items yay i don't even want to say how much i spent but food is expensive man nah, guys we need to plug each other when it comes to like, places where we can buy food at a reasonable price because um, nothing is really cheap lately. And they were even the petrol in UK, but again, we'll just sigh for that. Because what can we do? Um, so now we are headed to Macro. We need to buy some water. This guy. We need to buy some um, water. We actually prefer drinking quantum water. It's safer and plus, so oh, guys. There's a lot going on with tap water. We use that for cooking it because we pre-boil it, so at least that's better. Um, yeah, and we'll also get some breakfast because I left the house plant early. I was literally the first one and so they to go and get my treatment done. Um, yeah, we'll grab some breakfast and we'll see what we can get. And stop it. See you in a bit. Well, I forgot my so light. Now the colony is hot and too hot. Hey, what's I'm so disappointed. This meal comes at no surprise because I did mention that I'm starving. Hi guys. Um, it's Sunday, so it's a bit late, but 
So let's grab some little lunch together. I'm going to make a savory stuffed rice. I saw this on the Lazy Magodi um, and Woods page. But unfortunately, I won't be using all the ingredients that they use. But nonetheless, so I'll be using, I think this is about three scoops of butter. Yeah, so I'll be covering the chicken with the butter. And yeah, add about just three tablespoons. If it's not enough butter, I'll add more butter for the chicken. It's just that it's a pity. The one that I'm making, I won't be saving the, I won't be marinating the chicken rather for long because I mean it's what probably 2 p.m. right now and I've been out of the house for a long while. I'm just going to put it together and then start. It's about a teaspoon and a half of garlic. Ooh, okay, a teaspoon of paprika for the color. Um, I'm going to try and mix that together. Now that I've mixed up my butter, paprika and garlic, look at all that flavor and color in that butter, gosh. So I'll start with my rice. I'll soak it a bit. I'm trying to pre-cook. I don't know. First time I'm doing this. But yeah, it's a half a cup of rice and put some boiled water so that I can soak it a bit so that it loosens it up and be able to rinse out the starch. So yeah, so this is a bit of pre-planning I'm doing. I'll cover it and then as I proceed marinating my chicken. The chicken. Let's put these aside. Hey guys, let's cook with this chicken today. Like food is expensive. I went to buy like a few items, mostly cleaning items that I bought today because we were running out. But food is so expensive. Like, I cannot stand it. I spent close to a thousand rand just buying items less than 30. I don't understand it. Okay, my hands are clean. I firstly clean them. So I'm just going to try and open a bit so that I can stuff that inside as well it helps with the crispiness of the chicken skin so and i also want to get the flavor in so that's another reason why i'm doing that so we'll start with spreading the butter a bit so as i was saying my day started quite early um and i think i just need to get used to the fact that i'm trying to vlog my weekends they're not very exciting but i do something different every now and again so i'll vlog and i'm also hoping that it will be memorable in the long run so i can always have a point where i can look back and see how i've changed over time how my habits have also changed that's another reason why I decided on doing vlogs to monitor my habits and also monitor the way I home my husband and how we do things and a bit of too much butter to get to create a nice crispy skin with some taste. I think I should have taken the bigger kiss roll. That's fine, this one can Going, so this one will go into the fridge while I prep the stuffing. So I'll show you just now. I'll start making. I'm going to cover up the chicken and put it in the fridge. It will marinate for a short while while I, I pre-cook the rice and sort of let it cool. So because I need to ensure that the rice is cooled down. Just start stuffing it. So yeah. I never win with this thing. Oh my god, wait. So I'm gonna put this. It's probably gonna be for about 15 to 20 minutes. Every rice I'll put in about a third of 
So onto the savory rice, I'm adding about a quarter cup of sweet corn kernels. That's me reading the benefits of it. And a quarter cup of carrots, maybe a bit more. Also adding a quarter cup of green beans. Hey well guys, I'm such an adult. I made my own homemade mixed veg. I used to love buying mixed veg, but I don't know, over time I've just stopped. Look at that. Guys, I'm so proud of myself. Ah, the savory rice is coming in. So now we'll start sorting the onion, drain the rice, and add it onto the pot after that i'll be adding into the pot the mixed vegetables but you need to note that i actually drained the rice and sort of rinsed it so that i can get the starch out so now i'm adding the mixed vegetables about a teaspoon of mixed herbs i'll add the turmeric a bit later and i'm also adding salt and pepper i'm sort of going to mix it all together so that the flavor can sort of enhanced within the pot so because I didn't really add water so I'm going to add water in drips and drops so that I don't overcook the rice it's quite a very tender rice variant so it cooks quite fast so I don't want to let it swim in some water because I'm trying to sort of saute it and make it al dente for the half a cup of rice that I'll be using as a stuffing so now it's time to add the turmeric for the flour and a bit of fragrance. Let's stir that around. Um, I'm also just going to take out some rice and put it aside to cool down to use for the stuffing. Now I'm just going to add some a bit more water so that I can sort of in a simmering manner cook the remaining rice that we'll be eating. So yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you once again so much for watching this far. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you loved it. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you'd like me to put. I'm not a chef, but I like exploring on a Sunday and looking at things of making an exciting Sunday meal. Look at how great this chicken and savory rice looks. This is the final um, meal. Um, once I've taken the chicken out, I added it back onto the pan by which I cooked. Well, this is not goodbye. It's see you again. Now it's time for me to actually soak my body and relax. I'm adding some Epsom salt with chamomile. So that will definitely give me some relaxing. And I'll also be putting on a face mask. I'm inspired, well, influenced by one of youtubers Tabisa Matole I've been seeing a lot of this facial mask on her it was so good I loved it till next week let me add it edit that African wedding traditional wedding sorry video and I'll see you next time love you lots bye